we have here is we need to move the baby chicks and we're going to build a home for them today and we have uh, pallets that were uh, free from a local uh, store and uh, so we asked them for them and one actually has a floor so that's going to be the base of the new uh, chicken building so just going to uh, fast forward and show exactly what we're going to do so as you can see we still have some pallets. It's getting a bit darker because a few hours have passed. We didn't have a crowbar. We didn't have a method to take them apart. We didn't really put too much thought into that. Here's some of the boards that we have that uh, we're taking apart. What we have here is the pylon, or I'm sorry, pallet. The pallet on um, some buckets that we got for free the other day. And we're taking them off one board at a time. And some are rotted and some aren't. And I'll show you what we're doing to take them off. So each post is going to be four feet long. What I have here is a two by four. I bought six two by fours for $23. So I have it caught or marked at four feet. So as you see, Warren's chasing the line before he makes the cut. And we're cutting them at four feet. That way there's no waste. And we're using a chop saw here. Well, he is. There's nothing worse than when you start a project, you realize that you're missing one of the most important parts of the project, such as screw nails. So I just had to run down to home, home hardware and pick up some screw nails. And uh, I also broke my measuring tape, which sucked too. So I had to get one, and they had one for $3.99. So there's my beautiful little screw nails, and there's my $3.99. Um, um, measure tape and of course my receipt which in total cost me um, the nails were they were only $4.99 for a pound that's not too bad so I'm just gonna take a break and go out and finish the project so what we're doing is putting the post in there and we're just going to uh, screw it in And that's a four foot post. And now we're going to do the very bottom just to keep it nice and tight. Supposedly men nice, like nice and tight. I don't know anything about it. That was a joke, by the way. another stick that's exactly the length of the uh secure it to the bottom and then put the sides on that one as well. I just wanted to show that we have two of the wall posts on there and how we have it secured is we have it bolted right there and there and that way it'll give us something to put our side walls to get onto. So now we have these little side pieces cut and they were 32 inches and uh, we're having them to fit in there just where we have something to screw into. And it does make it a lot stronger. As you can see, we have the uh, frame up, which is uh, we cut the inside 43 and a quarter to 
go in between the two beams. That way it would have something to uh, brace down on. And what we're going to do is the wood that we removed from the pallet yesterday, we're going to fill in the walls and I'm going to show you what so that So what you're looking like. at now is the side of the chicken coop. And we have it on buckets, the buckets we got for free when we got the lobster that day. And I just wanted to show you the wall of one side of the chicken coop. And as you can see, it's half uh, refurbished wood from the pallets that we have. We have a stack over there, so we're going to take some more apart, get the other wood that we're going to need. We just have maybe one piece for this side of the wall, and then we can move on to the next wall. Flip it over and work with the other ones. That's what you want to do. It's easier to walk on them. And we're going to just continue this probably another eh, 30 times or so. And then we'll have some boards. I'm going to denial them. And then we're going to finish building the sides. So when you take a pallet apart, there's lots of nails that stick out. As you can see right there, what I have done is I have the ones that I still need to clean, which is taking the nails out. I flip it over and I bang it out and then I just pull it out with the claw part of the hammer. So you want to make sure you clean it and I have a bucket here where I'm collecting all my nails so they don't end up in my driveway and uh, I'm going to continue until I have enough to uh, finish the wall. And this is what the wall looks like on the inside so far. And then that one will look like that one as well as that one. But we just need to clean up a few more boards. We have a pile of clean boards right over there. So we're just going to cut them down to three feet like we have been doing, and then we're going to work on the next oh, side. Drop an inch. Let me get started first. Time. Here, get it started. piece in here to keep the wall together and now I'm going to uh, now we cut that to 30 inches and the sides are 43 so it's 41 three feet high. So I'm just going to fast forward till we get a couple more on. So I just wanted to take a quick glance 
and see around. As you can see, the bucket's trying to move on its way, so I'm just going to stick that bucket in there. We're on the third wall here. I just wanted to show that we just had just this little bit much over here left to do on this third wall. So it almost isn't closed in a box, which is great. So this is the half completed chicken coop. All we need to do now is put uh, a roof on it. And I'm just going to walk around and you can see that it is made with the pallet wood. And some of it was hard, some of it was not so bad. And we just cut them down to three feet sizes. Used a pallet as the bottom of it. Now, when you, we were cutting the pallets, we were having scrap wood left over that was two feet or so. And uh, what we decided to do with it was we put a beam in there for we could um, strap that down. I'm just going to show you inside just for you can see. And the floor had the pallet. Here's my uh, do-it-yourself uh, chicken coop. So I'm just gonna take it to the homestead and put a roof on it.